Hi, everyone. How are you? Rich of Review Tech USA here, and I have a question. Could you tell me about your dad? Does your dad wear a mankini? Does your dad sit in a hot tub, point a camera at him, and stream to Twitch in that mankini? And then, you know, sometimes if the mankini is too hot, it's too tight, it's too uncomfortable, he's just like, oh, God, I itch. Oh, God, Billy, I itch. Billy, I itch. Skip it up and that up. So we know that hot tub streams have become a thing on Twitch. And I don't knock any woman's hustle that does it. Look, I feel bad. I'm mixed on it because, again, make that money. I'm all about making that money. And if you got if you got the body that people want to see, make the money. On the flip side, the female streamers who don't want something to do with that, you have the idiot mouth breathers that are like, Why aren't you showing your boobs? I thought all women streamers want to show their boobs. But on the flip side, like I've said before, even if no one was showing their boobs, you would have mouth breathers probably saying that anyway because... The internet. Excuse me, it's time for a seltzer break. Hey, Polar, you want to sponsor me? I drink your seltzer. Actually, it's like one of my favorite brands of seltzer. <sighs> well, anyway, a big Twitch streamer. She's known as Amaranth. She has about 2.8 million followers. That's an insane amount of followers to have on Twitch. She was into doing the hot tub stream thing. She's a good looking woman. I could see why people would want to watch that. Well, out of nowhere, her ads were suspended over on Twitch indefinitely, and they gave her no reason why. Keep in mind, Twitch said they're okay with the hot tub streams. They even had DJ Wheat come out recently and say, yeah, so long as you know, you're know you not having like doing softcore, can't use the word in the video things, fine, stream in a hot tub. That's basically, I'm paraphrasing, but it's pretty accurate to what he said. Well, like I said a few days ago, Amaranth found out that there are no more ads on her channel, which in turn means that she's missing out on like half a million dollars of revenue a year. Ouch. And this is what she had to say on Twitter. Excuse me, a burp from the seltzer is coming. Uh. Almost thought I lost it. I had turkey hot dogs for lunch and I smell those dogs coming out of my hole, going up my nose. Yesterday, I was informed that Twitch has indefinitely suspended advertising on my channel. Twitch didn't reach out in any way whatsoever. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I had to initiate the conversation after noticing, without any prior warning, all the ad revenue has disappeared from my channel analytics because advertisers are afraid of titties. <laughs> it's, I don't get I don't understand. Now you have big streamers like XQC coming out and saying, this is my true take. This might have saved everybody from losing their ads. This may be a scapegoat for all of us, which no, that's no, no. If anything, it, it just empowers the advertisers even more so that they could pigeonhole even more who could have make revenue off of their ads. That absolutely is. That is a truly bad dumb hot take xqc sorry i could go to the mall or go to the beach and see women wearing it. literally i could go to the mall it's kind of like like why are you wearing that at the mall but they're walking around the mall in a public area. No one's offended. No one's like hiding behind garbage can going, oh my God, oh my God, titties. What am I going to do? They're going to kill me. Like women wear tank tops. Women wear halter tops. They're, they're showing cleavage. They're showing, showing boobies. As long as, you know, the pants aren't coming off or whatever, who cares? I watch... I have family members, I should say. I don't really watch TV. I can't stand TV. They're watching like these real millionaire housewives with their fake ass boobies and they're basically popping out and there's ads slathered all over them. Why? Because it's network. Oh, we know exactly what's going to go on. It's network television. So they, the advertisers are like, and all the corporations, they could do whatever they want to. They could show as much boob as they want to. Who cares? Who cares? Ads, man. You want a GMC ad? You want a Coke ad on there? Money, 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 money. But if a live streamer is doing it, and it it's less risque than the soft core scenes that I see in the stupid ass shows on CBS... But if, if the streamers do it, 
Now, nope, can't have ads on there, too risque. But if there's basically Skinamax on these stupid shows where they shoehorn in sex where it's absolutely unnecessary, give them all the ads, give them all the revenue. Who cares? Just revenue, 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 revenue. Get put the put the ads on there, man. Put that Diet Pepsi ad on there. Put it on. Those are those are high production value titties. We can't go with the live stream boobies. It's so ridiculous, man. That's such a bad take too from XQC. But Devin Nash, who's also a Twitch streamer, this is the take I do agree with. This is what he had to say. Excuse me. Uh People who are cheering about Twitch removing Amaranth's revenue will be real mad soon when their favorite streamer gets nuked for being a brand risk. If you think this stops content, think again. I, I don't say that word, but I I think I've said titties like 75 times in this video. So <laughs> what, what, what demonetization bullet am I trying to dodge? If anything, I'm just standing in front of them like this. Please put a yellow dollar sign on this video, baby. And we've seen this, we, which look, DSP could dislike me as much as he want to. I defended them how they were opaque with him about why they, they suspended him from the partner program over on Twitch. Look, it just happened with reckless eating because of a stupid thumbnail that they had from the cable guy where Jim Carrey goes, oh, Billy, and shows his man nipple, which man nipples are allowed on YouTube. He got a strike on his account because of it. YouTube came out and admitted that he shouldn't have had a strike, but they're like, yeah, we don't know how to get rid of it. Um, yeah, we'll get back to you. We don't know what to do. YouTube themselves doesn't they put a strike on his account their automated system They don't know how to control their own automated system and they're like ah stop. I don't know what to do Ah, These platforms man What they don't realize is and I got another video coming up on some ordinary gamers after this Is that who is gonna want to cultivate a following even if you're not doing everyone's like rich It shouldn't be a job fine. It shouldn't be a job good good You write your comments below and you could give yourself a gold star but who's going to want to even cultivate this as a hobby? Who's going to want to cultivate this as a side hustle? Hustle, hustle. What is a hustle? Side hustle, even if they're not getting rid of their normal nine to five. They never plan to. Even if they get 10 million subscribers, they're still going to stick to their. No one's going to want to do it because just like that, with no reason, I just feel like snapping. With, they won't come to you. They won't say anything. They, they're, they're just like, yeah, we're out of it. You're out of the partnership program. Oh, yeah, your channel suspended. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's suspended. I don't know why you were, your channel was shut down. And we don't really have to tell you because what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the South Park impression. Oh, that sucks! So your YouTube channel was suspended. Oh, oh, that must hurt. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, your Twitch channel was taken down. Oh, you want to know a reason? You want to know a reason why you're out of the partner program, even though we said we would allow hot tub streams so long as they didn't get too sexual? Yeah, we're just gonna change your mind, not tell you why. Oh, God, these are some nice nipples. So look. Something needs to change. There there needs to be more transparency. And I know there was a, a group that was attempting years ago to make a union for content creators or specifically YouTube. I feel that should be, be a thing. Or else this is what's going to happen. Look, they even did it to Dr. Disrespect. Whatever deal he was trying to work out with Mixer, it, 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 they didn't tell him anything as far as we he even came out and said they didn't tell him a damn thing. It was just about money, and they were like, yeah, it's not worth it. Screw it. Let him go. And they kind of threw him under the bus with it. Something has to happen to protect people. And for everyone saying, yeah, just go out and get a real job. Okay. So all of your favorite creators, if they can't create content anymore because it's not sustainable, what are you going to watch on YouTube? Please tell me, what are you going to watch? All the six-year-olds playing Forecraft. Forecraft. Hey, Forecraft. That should be a game. Forecraft. What are you going to do? Watch all the six-year-olds play Fortnite and Minecraft and be like, Hey, guys, this is Steve1433141584158 here. I'm just going to create this, 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 this siren head tower. It's going to be so cool. That's all the content you'll have because all the adults had to leave and go get real jobs to support themselves and their families even though I think YouTube is a real job, but you get my point. So something needs to be done because this is not sustainable. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one, baby. I'm out of seltzer. God damn it. I got to open up another can.
Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.